chat gpt and artificial intelligence chances are is you've heard a lot about these two things in the last few months and it's for good reason but what i want to talk about today isn't what 99 percent of people are talking about see with this new boom of artificial intelligence hitting online business there's an opportunity to make life-changing money but if you don't listen to what i'm teaching you in this video and if you don't implement it then you're just going to sit on the sidelines and you're going to be left in the dust so how do you take advantage of this opportunity that I'm talking about? Let me explain. If you're watching this video right now, you probably have some sort of desire to start some sort of software company in 2023, whether it's utilizing AI or whether it's utilizing no code tools. I've personally started or co-founded three different software companies and I've sold two of my software companies in the last six months alone. And so as soon as I discovered ChatGPT and OpenAI, I knew it was going to make me a ton of money. First off, let me explain how ChatGPT can be used other than just asking it super basic questions. Think about software companies recently that have blown up like Lenza AI. This is exactly what they did. They leveraged OpenAI's API to create their own artificial intelligence SaaS company or software as a service. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing. Okay, so how are we actually going to make money utilizing ChatGPT and OpenAI? So the first way that we're going to talk about is probably the way that everyone's been telling you to do it so far. So let's get into that. So while everyone is telling you to start an SEO agency and use ChatGPT to fulfill the service, here's what we're going to do. We can do the same service. Let's say we're still trying to you know, target people that are interested in SEO, but instead we're going to repackage ChatGPT as our own software as a service. And we're going to do this by leveraging OpenAI's API, connecting it to a pretty front end that has a really nice user interface, and then we're going to refine and train the model to our particular niche. So let's say we wanted to do SEO for fashion brands. So basically what you would do is you would connect to OpenAI's API. You're going to connect it to a beautiful user interface. So I would recommend using something like bubble.io or you could use software.io. They both allow you to create user interfaces. Bubble's a little bit of a steeper learning curve, but can look a little bit better. Software is very easy to learn and they also integrate. And so then what you're going to do is you're going to refine the model for a specific niche. So, you know, if you went to chat GPT right now and you said like, hey, write me an SEO optimized blog for a fashion brand. Maybe it's like a men's fashion brand, women's. You can make it more specific. Obviously, it's going to be decent. It's not going to be great. But then what you can do is you could actually hire an actual SEO specialist and you could actually have them create, They you have them write actual SEO optimized blogs for a very specific, uh, you know, prompts. And then you can feed those into uh, the machine learning model and then it'll spit out some that are sim more similar to what you just fed into it. And you can rinse and repeat this process until it gets to the point where it learns to create blog posts that are almost identical to the specialist that you hired. And so now all you have to do is reach out to these e-commerce brands and sell them on your software as a service instead of just, you know, some sort of like agency type of contract. And now you're building an actual sellable asset and you're going to be building monthly recurring revenue and it's going to be in a much more leveraged vehicle. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably going to say is like, how is this software company worth anything if you're just building it off of OpenAI's API? And so your moat becomes your ability to train the model. So how well you've trained the model becomes your IP, it becomes your moat. And so you need to have a very good system in place to continuously feed new data back into the machine learning model to teach it how to obviously create better outputs for your clients. And before any of you say something like, oh, this doesn't actually work or, you know, anything like that, go look at copy AI, go look at Jasper that just became worth over a billion dollars. Go look at Jenny. There's all these AI software companies out there that are blowing up and raising money at crazy valuations. Like this is not a fad, like this is a real thing and it is going to be the future. And I'm telling you, so you can sit on the sidelines or you can join it and become a part of the movement. Now, the last piece of alpha that I want to leave you with is whatever your niche is, and we'll stay with the SEO niche since that's the example we were using. And again, you'll see Iman Godzi doing this. You'll see Russell Brunson doing this. You saw Alex Becker do this is they'll all use info products or courses 
and they'll sell that on the front end to then use that to funnel people to their SaaS product. So you could sell either a digital course or a community. And so let's say you wanted to create like a either a course or a subscription community on how to, you know, how to do SEO for e-com brands. And so you advertise that for something super affordable. It could even be free or it could be a super, you know, low ticket course community. You get a bunch of people in your course or your community and then boom, you funnel all of those people to your software as a service. It's like, hey, here's so basically you sell them the knowledge as a course or community and then you sell them the the implementation as a service so you say hey here's how to do it here's how to do seo or if you want it done for you our software will actually do it for you and so that's the alpha that you saw russell brunson do this really well with click funnels and the one funnel away challenge is he sold the one funnel away challenge like you're one funnel away from a new life but they had to use click funnels his software to implement what he was teaching them and so that's the last piece of alpha that i'll leave you with for this video is use communities and information to funnel people to your software product and guys i try to keep these videos pretty short so i'm probably going to cut it here so if you want to see more in-depth trainings from me i actually hold a weekly live webinar every wednesday at 7 p.m so if you're wanting to you know get a little bit more technical and go more into detail on some of these things come to one of those trainings. I'll put the link in the description and please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. It helps me and it motivates me to put more videos out like this and I'll catch you guys in the next one.